Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, this is the much anticipated and asked for tutorial on setting up a bucket server which allows you to customize a whole lot of things and install server plugins. Uh, it should be pretty easy and straightforward. This video is only going to be about setting up the server and then at the end I'm going to have links to setting up the VPN which is like the tunnel to a network to your friends so they can connect to your server. So again, this is just about setting up the server, and so let's get to it. All right, open up a new window here, and we're going to go to bucket.org. We're going to download the recommended build for Craft Bucket. Uh, it's the latest one, which would be 1.25, 1.2.5 right now. And uh, one thing that could mess you up, you need to make sure that your client, which is your Minecraft game, and your server are the same version so make sure they're both running either 1.2.4 or 1.2.5 that way you can log in and everything's all hunky dory All right. also go to minecraft.net download and download minecraft underscore server dot exe okay I think we can probably close that here we go downloads I'm gonna move those to a bucket folder that I made here. All right. For ease of use, just take that craft bucket file and just rename it to craft bucket without all that dashes and stuff because that's just going to cause you more problems in the end. All right. So we got our craft bucket jar file and we got our Minecraft server exe in this folder. All right. Now, here is the text you're going to want to use to make the batch file to run craft bucket. This is a very simple one. It should work uh, it works for me and if not in the description there are the other versions with the path you know with the C and program files and x86 and all that stuff that gives you problems so hopefully this one will work for you you just take this right here okay this is a notepad text file right now all right so I'm gonna do file save as click down here on save as type click all files uh, I just type run just because you're using it to run the server. Run dot b a t. Uh, click on your folder. So you want to make sure it's in the same folder with Minecraft server and your craft bucket thing. And I just changed the name here. So run dot b a t. Hit save. All right. Close the notepad. Now there you see run Windows batch file. If you right click and hit edit, you can see the text's all there. That's how you edit it. Now we run it. Here you go. This is your bucket server. Preparing spawn area. You can see that it's a little different from the regular Minecraft server without this bucket, you know, wrap around it. It's got world nether, world the end. It's a little different, but it all works the same. And the good thing is if you created a server before from my other video with without bucket, if you just throw craft bucket in the folder, change that run.bat file to run it, it will take it and it will transform your regular world folder. It'll move everything and spread it out like this, how Bucket needs it, and your old world, you won't have to lose it, it you can run it in Bucket. Uh, bucket does all the work for you. I tested that out on our server and it works. Alright, so that's all done. You probably want to stop it after you run it and it creates the world for the first time saving chunks press any key to continue and then you can run it again and it should be all good to go um, ba -ba -ba -ba. let me run my minecraft here <laughs> multiplayer direct connect local host And here we are, my brand new world. Yay! It works! Hooray! As you can see, I cannot break blocks because I'm not far enough away yet. Mm, still can't. Yay! Now I can break blocks. See, check it out. You gotta get far enough away from the spawn point. I can even punch sheep! Hooray! Sheep punchers! Alright, so there you have it. 
that is pretty simple, pretty quick to set up, and uh, that's just the basics of it. I'm going to have videos for... Uh, stop this. Okay. Oh, no. no. No, don't run it again. Okay. Let's close that. All right. So that is that. Now, as you can see here, we will have a few other videos coming up. Uh, something I just found is this Evolve, and it is this application that will do VPN for you, so you can set up, uh, you know, games with your friends, and it does it just all kinds of, you know, whatever games that you have on your computer. It's not just a Minecraft thing, but uh, it's got like a party system, and you add friends to a friend list, and you can chat, you can do VoIP with it, it records your game playtime, and I think other stats in other games. Uh, it can do screenshots, and it even does recording now. And so that is pretty sweet, and I just stumbled upon it because all the commenters saying they're having problems with Hamachi and this and that. So I just Googled, uh, you know, easier than Hamachi, I think is what I typed in, and I, I found this. And it's pretty new. Seems like it can do everything, and it does it really well. So click here for a tutorial or just kind of a promotional hey look at this sweet program video about how to set that up and join your friends to play and do all that cool stuff uh, or you can click here this is going to be the way I was I've been doing it uh, with Hamachi and using Skype to chat and record with your friends uh, here will be a video of how to install the bucket server plugins all that good stuff uh, down here will be how to install the client, or which is your game, you know, your computer side mods, like uh, like uh, the Raze minimap that I use and inventory tweaks, those kind of things. Uh, that's using the mod loader. And here's a little video of how to find diamonds fast, and uh, that is using branch mining. It's how I found, uh, I think, like 53 uh, diamonds in my one branch mine area that I did takes a little while. It's not like it's 10 minutes and you find, you know, 100 diamonds, but uh, it is the fastest way of doing it in, compared to just mining out gigantic whole regions. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you, and uh, check back. These videos will be up shortly. Uh, please thumbs up this video and subscribe for future tutorials and gameplays. Also, comment and let me know that this worked out well for you. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, comment on the diamond video. Let me know how many you found and how well that worked out for you. Thanks for watching so much, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.